A North Texas laboratory is now at the center of a new international effort to combat human trafficking. The selling of human beings for prostitution and for forced labor is expected to become the number one international crime within the next year, moving ahead of illegal drugs and arms sales. Channel 8's Jim Douglas explains how a handful of scientists in Fort Worth expect to make a difference. When the bones of two babies or fetuses were discovered stored beneath a trailer in rural Tarrant County this year, it was obvious where to turn to solve the mystery. The remains are now being tested at the DNA lab at the University of North Texas Health Science Center in Fort Worth. Since the early 1990s, it's quietly become one of the top three labs in the country identifying the unknown dead. We are probably the most successful. We're approaching 400 identifications. We've received over 2,000 remains. Investigators say the DNA will be matched against samples from at least 19 people with possible connections to the case. They all voluntarily submitted swabs like this. I'll only process one of them. Meanwhile, scientists in this lab are now turning their attention to a new and enormous challenge, identifying the living victims of modern-day slavery. Children are kidnapped, stolen, sold um, hundreds of thousands of times every year. Many of these children are being kidnapped and sold for illegal adoption. Dr. Arthur Eisenberg heads the UNT Center for Human Identification. He cites a recent DNA study on 250 adoptions from orphanages in Mexico and Guatemala. The results were eye-opening. About 90 of them were shown to be illegal. That is, the, the people who dropped off these children were not the biological parents. These are children, who, babies who had been kidnapped, stolen. The UNT lab just received a half million dollar grant to start building an international DNA database. It's part of a first of its kind effort called DNA Pro Kids. Families of the missing can provide samples. Genetic profiles will then be matched with victims when they're found. Sweatshops are raided throughout the world that are full of children. These children don't know where they came from. Although human trafficking is often associated with Asia or Africa, authorities say Texas has more cases than any other state. Right now, this lab in Fort Worth and another in Granada, Spain, are the only two processing DNA for pro-kids, but the goal is to eventually draw in labs from around the world. The UNT lab expects to collect 10,000 samples to start with, a tiny fraction of what's needed. We're going to start it, and it'll spread throughout the world because it's the right thing to do. It's a, it has to get done. In Fort Worth, Jim Douglas, Channel 8 News. Fascinating work being done by the folks up there. Very impressive.